The moment is now. Are you ready? Play Armis. All right, let's take a look at this setup. We need to make quite a few changes. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at my opponent's setup. Again, it's the same setup, but uh, we want to keep it in perspective. Marines here, Air Force here, and that's about all we need to focus on at this time. Or should I say consider? One, two, three. Well, let's start instead of with the sub, let's start with the Air Force, uh, uh, the Coast Guard. This way, uh, maybe I can force the uh, opponent's Marine off the coastal waters as I go back to uh, launch the submarine. Alright, this Marine, one, two, three, can go that far one two three you can go one two three so if I go here then my Coast Guard is covered by my marine and at the same time only threatening this marine this marine is out of range one two three already uh, that's pretty good but I think let's see one two three all right I can I'm thinking about moving the Coast Guard over here one two so that it's threatening this marine but I don't want this marine to end up going in the expanse area if anything I want it to go in this area um, but I don't want to take that gamble just yet think what I'd rather do is to put a little bit of pressure on this Marine with the Army and VP. My Marine provides coverage as far as, let's see, one, two, three, as far as here. So I'm going to use the VP to go here to threaten the Marine and at the same time use the Marine to cover uh, the VP so that if it gets captured then I can use my marine to capture uh, his marine. If it backs up more if it backs up into the uh, expanse area then I'll advance my army. If it attacks my uh, Coast Guard alright so I'll still advance the army. Now the army and the VP are covering each other in addition in addition to being covered by the um, marine now this marine has uh, a threat on everything in this area right here my marine is just out of its reach all right with that type of move it looks like uh, let's see here yeah it looks like I might well no 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 it's just it's too early to say right now I was thinking I might be able to trap the marine but it is looking in that direction it can still go one, two, three, and that's covered by the Coast Guard, but all of this area here 
is not covered by anything. If it ends up one, two, three, four, okay. So it won't it won't go here because if it went there then uh, the v vice president would be able to get to it. Alright, so now let's just I think I might be able to trap it. One, two, three. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, this is as far as this marine will go. So if I go here, I'm providing mutual coverage between the Army and the VP. I'm also uh, covering these areas over here. As you can see, one, two, three, it can only go this far, and that's covered by the Coast Guard. So essentially, the uh, Marine is now trapped. So its best move would be to take the Army since it's now in a losing battle. Alright, since it chose not to, I can capture it. Now with that, I'll use the Coast Guard to intimidate or go after my opponent's other Marine. Now the religion is a non-offensive piece, so I, I really don't know why it went here other than to open up the ability for the president to, uh, to threaten the army uh, if it plans on moving the nuke next. Okay. Now with the submarine over here, I plan on launching it. I just have to beware of my opponent's air forces again. The jet is too far, I mean the helicopter is too far away from deep waters to be effective, uh, to be an effective threat onto anything in deep waters. The jet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This sixth space, the jet can land in. So whatever is in the three space is, uh, is vulnerable. So one, two, three. I don't want to go into this space right here because it's, uh, uh, would be under threat by the uh, jet. So the furthest I'll go is here. Hopefully I don't forget <laughs> about the uh, jet and go here by accident. But for the most part, um, I, I more than likely will end up using my submarine to go into the Eastern Sea so that I can use it as a bridge to go back and forth. But before that, I, I will uh, whoa. OK. Now, this space is no good to me. This space is no good to me, and this space is no good to me because the last two spaces, the sub can actually go here or here and and take out whatever is there so th my opponent has three uh, three spaces three of the four spaces in the greater sea under threat so the only space that's in the deep sea that I can be in is the one that I'm in right now um, let's get the want to provide some coverage for my uh, Coast Guard. I want to put it either here or here. 
and I'm also leaving open the possibility of moving my sub from where it's at right now to either uh, in the Eastern Sea or quite possibly out of the deep waters altogether onto coastal waters again. Alright. I did that because uh, and I have to be careful too because if I board I can't move on to coastal waters with uh, with a passenger so that will likely mean that it, it, if I have my marine boarded and the Okay, let's take a look at that. Alright. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's alright. Before I embark, I'm going to put... Um, oh. I wanted to go over here, but the... It, it, my my mouse got uh, stuck and it, it, it released too early that happened in the last game as well I don't know what the problem is I'll try to look into that at some future date Oh, it happened again, except for this time, now I'm within striking range of, oh, I, I, I don't like that. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it, though. My mouse released the piece early again, which has now resulted in uh, my opponent being within striking range of, uh, and I have no coverage. This piece is not covering. This marine is not covering that marine. So there's actually nothing that I can do. Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, that nice little lead I had earlier is gone. And so we're just about tied up except for my opponent has uh, some pretty good advantage areas meaning it's over here with the religion although the religion can't do anything much it's over here with the uh, jet uh, and again the jet can't do much but between the marine being here and now the vice president being here that's a little bit better than just my lone army all the way out here. I'm going to try to keep this pretty tight for right now and try to do a little something to uh, my opponent's nuke. I'm going to take my opponent's nuke and try to position my army so that it gets at least one more piece and then quite possibly move both of my, uh, or should I say, move my executive into a position where it can take the, uh, the reserve. Now, depending on what my opponent does with the, with the president, I might be able to use my diplomat as a blocker for my army as it comes in because only the executive could capture the diplomat. The army and the marines can't do anything.
if I put yeah if I put the uh, army here and then on a subsequent move put the diplomat here it will block the uh, army whoa okay oh I'm in trouble there if I take the vice president then he can take use it his vice president is covered by his marine so if I take his vice president he gets to take my marine Oh. It's either save the uh, Marine or save the Reserve. The Reserve is more important than the marine but and if I if I save the marine whoa okay if I save the marine then I want to at least be able to get the the reserve uh, get the capture the vice president after it takes the reserve now my nuke is now active because at least three of my military has been taken and at this point the aircraft carrier the coast guard as well as the In this position, he should have taken the reserve. He didn't do that. Because he didn't do that, now my nuke is in a position where it's threatening both the Marine as well as the uh, uh, Vice President. So, regardless of what, my guess is that I'm going to end up, well, not regardless, because if he takes the reserve, I have to take him. Oh, that was a terrible move. That was a terrible move because now at this point what I was going to say is if if he took the reserve I would use my president to take him so he would have the reserve then at that point I would use the nuke I would activate the nuke to take out my opponent's uh, marine but since uh, he, he didn't do anything he didn't even use the the marine to take the president or anything uh, I can just activate and and take out the two main threats of course it takes out my uh, diplomat uh, as well uh, but that's a sacrifice that I was willing to go with Now I'm in a far better position. Hopefully my computer mouse will work with me. Now, if I use my president to take the helicopter, my opponent would be able to use the army to take uh, my president. So I don't want to do that just yet. Let's 
get back into that same position we spoke of earlier even though I don't have the diplomat anymore to, to use as a blocker I'm going to try to bring my uh, VP in a position where I, it, it will cover the uh, army well that didn't work out too well but you can go army for army and now I don't have to worry about the army taking my president over here because the president can only move straight lines he can't move around corners now if I take the the flag which is straight the reserve since it's right next to it will be sacrificed so it's almost like making a curve because I can't go from here to here straight but because they're next to each other I end up well <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I end up over there anyway and then at that point the reserve is gone but now with the reserve with the flag in front of the my opponent's uh, president or offending uh, offensive piece uh, I, I don't even have to worry about uh, uh, getting captured now either the flag I was going to say either the flag goes further away from coverage which it seems to be doing and let's see what can I do here let's go right there I think I got the flag covered Oh, I don't. Okay. Let's just keep chasing this flag. It's taking a little while, so my guess is that it's out of moves. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Capture your heart and your mind. Let the whole world see us through your eyes. Land, air, and sea victory.